Hello everyone, I'm Mikko and I love gaming. A little while ago I did a retrospective on the uh, Metal Slug series, which is one of the staple games for the Neo Geo system. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna do another one, and this time look at quite possibly the signature series for the system. The King of Fighters. And uh, what a better place to start than uh, right at the beginning, with King of Fighters 94. And as usual, I'll be giving myself four credits and seeing how far I can get. Uh, I first played these games back in, I think, 98, I want to say. I think 90, King of Fighters 97 was fairly new when I played it in the arcade. Uh, since then, I found some of the earlier games as well, but that's the first one I really played for any, any period of time, and then uh, later I started playing at home. Uh, I'm going to be trying out a few different teams as I play through these to keep things fresh. Now, I, could, I just, could just be sticking with uh, with playing Terry Bogart in every game and do fairly decently, but that's nah, a little dull, so... I'll be trying slightly different teams. And first off, of course, Team America! <laughs> Oh, Jim. I ain't scared of you. So for those who don't know, uh, the King of Fighters is basically SNK putting together the Art of Fighting and Fatal Fury series, their previous two fighting games. And, uh, fighting series rather, I think they were already more than one entry in both. But, uh, <laughs> putting those together and adding in some new characters and introducing this uh, three-man team format. And uh, worked out pretty darn well. Uh, like, like I said, this came out in 94. Like, uh, SNK already established their style, but I think this is really even more to, like, establish it further. Because, like, for the most part, these character models look way more real, and a lot of the designs, too, are way more realistic than stuff you'd see in, like, Street Fighter. Where they embrace the over the topness. And, oh my god, Kim is kicking my ass! Oh man. Oh shit. Yeah, these games can be pretty brutal. So I I was expecting to win at least one frigging match before I hit a difficulty wall, but uh -uh. Yeah, atomic drop for the win. Break that tailbone. Alright, only two more to go! A single character. There we go. I like how the earlier games also have like two grapples per character. I'm pretty sure some of the later ones cut down to just one. And that was a little disappointing. Oop. There we go. Are actually gonna win this? Now, to be fair, Kim is usually the most difficult guy on this team for me, but... Oh, nice. Come with well. There we go. That's one of them, team down. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm really not expecting to beat any of these games. Like, there's a reason that there is a term called SNK Hard. It's, uh, it's of course, referencing Nintendo Hard, which is, uh... I'm gonna start with Lucky Globber. He's my weakest link. Um... Yeah, no, they didn't take quite the same order. Look at these lively stages. These are just so cool. They really give you like that feeling of uh, sort of a, the, an inbuilt feeling of being being like in a tournament and being watched, even when you're not at an arcade. But um, 
I was gonna say, I would have <laughs> forgotten my topic. Yeah, donkey's ass. Oh yeah, SNK hard, yeah. Uh, like, uh, I'd imagine more people are familiar with from Nintendo hard, which is, uh, mostly about, like, uh, Castlevania and, uh, Ninja Gaiden, you know, these really hard games that are, are gonna beat your ass and sometimes feel really unfair with how, uh, they handle, like, pitfalls and shit. But, uh, with SNK, sometimes, it's particularly with bosses, the game can feel just unbelievably cheap. And, uh... And so, so, sometimes you meet just, like, this huge difficulty spike where... It doesn't seem to matter what you do, the company's gonna kick your ass. I'd say, except for bosses who legitimately sometimes are unbelievably cheap. Like, they will have attacks that are just complete BS. Uh, for the most part, aside from that, like, the games are fair. It's just a matter of, uh, figuring out a new approach. And, uh, getting out of bad habits is not easy. I have a bad habit with, uh, jumping in too much, I noticed this. I can Oh god. Just learn to play a better footsies. And sucker my opponent into uh into going to vulnerable positions. Ah oh, darn it! You beat me to the punch, literally. Yeah, that eagled to two. <laughs> like I was saying, like you know though obviously some of the SNK designs are fairly flashy, but for the most part they always had like more of a real people feel to them than a lot of like Capcom design and stuff. And uh, I think a lot of people gravitated towards it, like not just in terms of design, but also like in terms of art style. Like King of Fighter has this feel of like being about as close to uh, real life as a uh, sprite art can get. You know, for the time. <laughs> Although I, I, I still think these these sprites hold up really well, and the uh, artistry of the backgrounds holds up remarkably well. Like looking back at uh, Mortal Kombat, yeah, those digitized graphics, not at least for me, look fairly horrible. Of course, when it came out, it was like the most realistic that you could possibly get because it was, you know, moving photographs, photographs, animations. Come on. I definitely prefer the, uh, later games' approach to the super bar, because, like you may notice, I'm not getting almost any here. That's because I either have to charge it up manually like this, ah, darn it, ah, I lost the super, I have to charge it up, up manually, or, you know, by defending your opponent, you know, blocking your opponent's attacks, you get some more power bar, but... I'm not really the type to do blocking. I'm very offensive-minded, so... Which again, ouch. That was really stupid. Which again factors into the whole... Getting rid of bad habits like jumping in too much. Damn you. Nope. Gotcha. That pressure up. Nope. Now I have it used so decently. Battler finished this off. Boot. Down you go. That's 
rot it. That's nothing. Harsh, dude. Truly, American football is the ultimate martial art. I think I'll keep my order in chase. Pretty good. <laughs> 